Hi Libra and Happy New Year for 2015. Um, tell you what, I've just drawn the cards and I, I happen to be a Libra myself and there's some great, we've got a great year ahead for us, certainly the first six months of the year. Um, I'll have a look at what I've done. Um, to And I also, I apologise, I do have a cold. I'm trying to get through all the signs. Um, but I'm going a little slower than I'm expected to do. So I apologise for you having to wait for your sign to come out. Um, I've already shuffled the cards, blessed them, put a little prayer over them uh, to save time. Put them into a Celtic cross um, tarot um, sort of classic it's it, it's the one that I like to use the most. It's it's one of the oldest layouts, and that's the way that I've done it. And we're going to be going over the first six months of this year, and then what I've done. This is going to cover us up to June. I'm going to draw another six cards out after that, which will cover us from July through to December. Um, again, apologise if I sneeze, make snotty noises, do anything gross <laughs> during the reading. I will stop um, and, and you'll maybe just see a blip or something um, if I have to go off and cough. Um, as usual, we've got our husky, husky light power in the background. Um, it's very late at night. She's fast asleep. Um, guaranteed at some point during the reading, she's probably liable to turn over and I'll have to manoeuvre her so she doesn't burn her tail on any of the candles. Um, so let's dive straight into uh, this year, which is which is looking pretty good. Um, if you, we've got the death card, which is our present right now. What's going on in our life? Um, the death card is changed. Don't be scared by it. Um, it actually means that we've we've had a bit you've had a bit of a hard time lately um, you've had quite a lot of changes already happen uh, probably over the last few months I'm probably talking from about September last year really through till now and some of it's been really difficult some of it's um, has needed to happen there's been changes happening in your life that have needed to happen in a good way. You may not see this immediately, but I think you're starting to, uh, that the changes, um, the, the sadness, the turbulence that you've felt um, over the past um, is now coming to an end and we and you are gonna have security and stability to replace that, which is, absolutely wonderful um, it can mean in some cases that may you may have experienced a physical death um, but I don't predict things like that or, or really say things like that because I don't want to initiate anything or manifest anything um, so I'm saying it because I think it's actually already happened. Um, such things like that are not written in stone at all. It's more about transformation and change. It's definitely a time of deep transformation, both outwardly in your life and inwardly. A lot of changes within you are occurring. I know in my case with, with having an awakening, it also sounds like a lot of Libras um, and quite a few other signs as well are starting to go through um, this time of, of either spiritual development or just an awakening of being more aware of the person that you are, of the things that are around you, the situations, people. Um, it may be that people recently who you had counted on are no longer there for you they're no longer available in the same way that they once were and that can be difficult for some of you but 
in general you need to be more accepting of the change you need to go with the flow try not to control things as much let go of the things and the people in your life that are self-limiting you holding you back holding back your attitudes um, it could be that we're actually hurting that you're actually hurting yourself with some of the attitudes that you have um, and if it's if that's the case it's sort of a, a wake-up call at the moment it the energy at this time is not just a check it's not just change or destruct it's change maybe destruction and it's followed immediately by complete renewal so even as one door is closing another one is opening and the one that is opening is completely for the better and you need to be brave enough to step through that new door you need to be able to push through the fear if you're in a in, in a job that you hate uh, that you don't like and you've wanted to leave um, or you've not wanted to leave because it might have had a steady income um, things may happen that you end up losing that job anyway and ultimately this will lead to the greater good this will give you a chance to follow your dreams now follow the job that you really want to follow the things that you really really want to do um, so you're actually what's the work what's the word the say in living you're not living to work yeah you are sort of working to live you're going to be doing something much more enjoyable and it's not going to be a drudgery every morning when you have to get up and you have to go to a job that you hate it's not going to be like that okay you may lose your job you may have to change jobs you may be unemployed at the moment but please understand that this is going to be a benefit for a complete change of field you can now do something completely different that you've always wanted to do in in love relationships um, if you're clinging to a relationship that you're deeply unhappy in it's time to let go it's time to let them go it might be just because they're familiar um, you may hate to be alone I know a lot of Libras do hate to be alone but there is also benefits in being alone as well because you learn more about yourself you become more self-reliable you rely on yourself you don't rely on others and by staying in a relationship that you don't want to be in you're not doing yourself any favor favors or your partner any favors um, and it's time to have a, a really honest discussion about the problems within that relationship and if they don't want to make a change with you or even you can't change or don't want to then it's it's time to let it go and be brave um, now it might be that because I'm doing a reading and it's now the 11th of January um, you could be right in the middle of this you could have just completed doing this um, but there is huge huge changes for, for a lot of us this this year um, I also want to say that this year is a really big year in numerology it's the number 8 which is power and strength determination um, all these words associate with the number eight it's a key key year 2015 a lot of changes for everybody a lot of positive changes they may look not quite look positive at the time but believe me they are they are for your greater good they're for your greater improvement well-being and strength to, to move forward so if we move on to the next card which is actually crossing this card um, we've got the lovers card now the lovers card can either in this position can either be a help or a hindrance to the death card which is the present position um, so the lovers card obviously usually refers to um, 
sometimes it refers to the astrological sign of Gemini, which is the twins. And it's always points to partnerships um, with just one other person and it indicates a romantic partnership. Of course, it's not always the case. Less frequently, it points to duality of that all of us have in, inwardly, sort of the yin and the yang, the male, the female, um, approach, avoidance, all sort of opposites, opposites. Um, but it's possible when this card appears that you are feeling uh, really good about a re relationship or a situation in your life it could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another as well there is again because we've got the death card underneath it this is it's good and bad okay there's a saying that um, there's only two modes of being in love operating at any one time and that's either fear or love choose love don't choose fear okay in a work situation it may be that you're facing a choice or a decision in relation to work you need to analyze all available information make your best choice um, I think it's possible that what you initially interpret as a bad thing will turn out to work in your favour um, and be very careful at the moment about mixing business with romance. If you chose to go there, make sure you know exactly uh, what you're doing within that. In the love situation, it's usually a time to bring love and we're doing this in capital letters, love, to the centre stage of your life. You're either going to start a brand new relationship or you're going to start a powerful rebonding of an old relationship which is coming back into your life. Either way you do this, you're going to be quite happy about how romance is going and how others will likely remark that you're absolutely glowing. This is, this is a really serious card. It could mean that even a new relationship that is just around the corner for you and the new relationship that's going to come into your life could be the one, the soulmate, the twin flame if you've not already met them um, and you're going to be meeting each other's families you're going to be talking forever this is an absolutely wonderful card and this is actually helping the death card underneath so we've got huge, huge changes, but because the lover's card is covering it, whether you're splitting up with somebody, whether you're about to meet somebody, whether you're renewing an old relationship that has come back again, it is for the good of you. It is serious, serious stuff. And you need to share that joy. You are gonna be feeling really, really happy about this when it happens. One door closes, another door opens. I've already said that in the previous card. And it's definitely, if there is a door closing, it's because it's about to bring in one of the most fantastic cards um, in, the, in the tarot pack for us. And it's absolutely wonderful. So I really wouldn't worry about any major changes that you are going through at the moment. If we move on to the Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords is sort of your, it's in the position of your subconscious. Things, desires, wants that you might not be aware of that are just, just coming into your awareness. Um, your gut feelings and your instincts, I need to say to you, are right. You already know what it is that you want, what it is that you need. Don't doubt yourself. You actually just need to go after it now, okay? Just be careful of other people's boundaries when you're doing it because Queen has a really forceful energy um, and some people might find that a little bit um, overpowering or abrasive or controlling. Um, so just, just hold that, we know 
you'll know what we want at the moment you know what you want just hold back a little bit on it with the impulses um even in work you're you're clear on what you need you're clear on what needs to happen you need to go out and do it um it might be that you're in a little bit of a stage of i don't quite know what to do please go with your gut instincts these are uh, you're becoming aware of that now you're becoming aware of what you actually need to do the only caution uh, with the queen is to as again not be so forceful or controlling um, go getting okay figure out um, where the boundaries are you get a lot more with you get more flies with honey than you do with vinegar and this is where this stands at the moment you may have a mother or a mother like figure within your life who might try to interfere with your relationship whether she means to or not it might be that she she doesn't even really know if this is the case can you just let her know again what's going on with boundaries don't let them interfere let them know that this is your life that this is is what you want and this is what you're going for and that's the end of it and there goes my beautiful husky who's going to try and turn over and she can't do she will be burning her tail moving on to the card over there um, we have got the magician and the magician is in reverse this is something that has just passed out your life or is about to very soon um, it's even when reversed the magician is about making higher and better use of your power of your intuition of your gut instincts it can indicate that you might be a little bit doubtful about make, making the necessary changes in order to in order to get going um, and in a more spiritual and effective manner have a look inside you and see what it is that you're afraid of see what it is that do you know what what you're changing into a new you it might be that others are not liking the new you so what they may not like the new you but it's no reason for you not to step in to who you really want to be and in all honesty if the people do not like the new you then they shouldn't be in your life they need to accept the changes as well okay also with the magician in reverse there may be some things that you are overlooking there's <laughs> i think at the moment you are maybe a little bit um you should be more aware of your surroundings you should be more aware I think I said there's a lot of people waking up this year and last year and you might be feeling a little bit more psychic yourself a little bit more aware of clarity and truth but there might be some things that you're just slightly overlooking don't doubt yourself okay you're don't cause unnecessary problems um, to yourself and those around you as a, as a way of with this with this doubt that you might have just stay aware of everything that might be that there is a slight being scared of, of the changes um, especially when it comes to your working life nothing stays the same forever change in newness is a part of life please don't cling to the past okay just keep going forward and keep going keep rolling with the changes okay if it's a love relationship it could be that you were starting to lose faith in your ability um, to attract or keep new love um, if you were single it may be that you were scared um, that you might not find anybody new out there this attitude this state of mind has got to be stopped 
you need to be successful in a if you're already in a committed relationship this card in reverse can show a little bit of doubt so just talk about what you really want and need it's really time to be brave but what I'm actually feeling is because it's in the past now it's just passing out of your life I think we're all starting to be really brave now you're all communicating the things that you want the things that you need in a really good way so in this situation it's just passing um, even if it's in the role of finances please don't worry about your finances please don't hold on to every penny that you've you've got no matter if it's pence or pounds um, because everything is going to get better in the financial realm um, and I know that sort of come April without even looking at the cards just what I'm getting uh, financially things are going to be an awful lot better than they are at this time of, of year I mean obviously we've all had Christmas and New Year and presents and all sorts to deal with and we're all back at work most of us and um, it has been it has been difficult uh, economy has been difficult but I promise you that come April um, don't worry about money because things will be an awful lot better and you will have caught up with things just make sure my baby's all right yeah she's fine so moving on to the next card we've got the two of swords and that is in a reverse position and it's in the position of things that you are aware of the dreams the motivation the goals that you know um, that you want so two of swords reversed is a card a lot about partnership again and being balanced um, it's the time to come to where you are truly ready to be open yourself up to a deep meaningful partnership going back to the lovers in the middle and I said it was a helpful card with the death card it's time to open up now it's time for that deep meaningful partnership it's time for whoever's come into your life coming into your life um, to open up whoever's already with you to be open with them and this can be on a personal romantic relationship it can also be on a professional level um, but whatever level you're taking it at whatever aspect you're taking it at because obviously this is a general reading for all Libras so some of this is going to apply to you some of this is not going to apply to you take the parts that apply to you take the parts that are meaningful to you um, and concentrate on those obviously because this is a reading for the whole year there are things within here that I'm saying that you don't know about yet which haven't come to pass yet so keep them in mind um, keep everything balanced with Libra scales keep everything balanced don't concentrate on just one area as in love or work or finances or health um, it's a very you need to be balanced okay if it's the the love side of things you know that it's a time to be more deliberate about the things you want to push I know you want to push you want to move things forward you want to get things going and they are going forward and they are moving but I know this is something that I have a problem with <laughs> um, be patient and when you've been patient just be a little bit more patient um, especially if you're single okay I've told you that the next person you meet is going to be very very special in your life but because that has been said don't suddenly meet them and go oh my god you're the one I love you let's get married tomorrow please don't let's be patient okay work situations um, you need to be seen as a team player it's not all about you it's about the balance it's about working with others it's about getting your ideas across but listening to other people's ideas as well and again having balance and, and patience 
don't put too much emphasis on any one partnership. Um, you have several priorities in your life and you need to try and equally balance all of those out. Okay, Those are things that you are aware of. Um, you know what you're doing, you know the goals that you want to go for. So we're now coming to the Wheel of Fortune and this is going to cover just the next few weeks. Okay, Wheel of Fortune tells us that in general uh, it looks as though obviously things are changing. In most cases it's very very positive the need for change. For some people though the change itself is very difficult and, and can also be quite traumatic. I actually feel like some people may be sort of deep within an awakening at the moment. This is not going to apply to every, everybody. Some people might not know what I'm talking about. If you feel very confused at the moment, um, please go and look at some of my other videos that I've done on, on awakening because I've gone through it myself. I've I've been there, done it, and got the t-shirt. Um, and there's parts of the awakening that can be really, really deep, difficult, scary. Um, and if you're going through anything like that, get in touch with me. I can help. Um, go and watch the other videos. Hopefully they can help you a little bit, give you a bit more understanding. It's a very spiritual and karmic time um, for everyone. But please remember that change is is always it's it's the nature of life okay it reminds us that because it's the wheel of fortune it's going round in a circle this will pass whether it's really good times that we're gonna have or if it's bad times it passes it's gonna happen suddenly in the next few weeks you're gonna be absolutely sitting on top of the world or you're gonna be at the bottom it's gonna be different for different people whichever place you're at keep thinking positively and roll with any changes that happens um, it's either possible again in the next few weeks you're definitely going to leave the job or you're definitely going to get a new job you're either going to be top or bottom because it's the wheel of fortune and we're all going to be at different points on that wheel of fortune I'm looking at the other cards and I actually think most of us are going to be in a good position in the next few weeks. I think that our desires, our wants are coming to fruition now and we are going to be, for most of us, we are going to be on top of that wheel of fortune and we are going to be quite joyous about it. If you are having this work-wise, if you're having some desire to do something different and you're not quite sure what it is and you want to do it, find somebody out who does know what they're doing. Um, find somebody who, who already does what you're dreaming of doing and ask them, you know, go and have lunch with them or something. Go and, go and find out from them. Uh, you'll be really surprised if you ask people um, for help, even if it's a stranger, um, they are usually, you know, very positive about helping you. It's not very often somebody would turn you down for that. In a relationship, um, we're going to go one of two ways. It's either going to be definitely that the relationship you're in is no longer suiting you, it's no longer good for you and it might need to be renegotiated or you need to leave okay it doesn't mean for definite that definitely if you are in a committed relationship that it's, it's doomed to failure or anything like that only that things are changing the wheel is turning and you need to take action to keep up with that okay if you're looking for a relationship um get very clear on exactly who and what you are looking for for and get out get your flirt on get out there do it do it online allow friends to introduce you to somebody that might fit the bill it's, it's just all oh, change 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 um, but I feel it's a very positive change for most of us okay and that's in the next sort of few weeks and we've already started um, 
and I actually feel because as I say it's the uh, I think we're I'm on the 12th of January now and these have come out late I think for a lot of this this is all about to go bing <laughs> within the next few days these huge changes okay some card uh, reversed down here this is your approach this is your approach to the whole first six months of the year for the overall situation okay it's still a really positive card when it's reversed you are going to be feeling so much more free than you have been in a while you may have feel, felt stuck but you're going to now feel free maybe for the first time in years I think the past couple of years for a lot of people have been quite hard and now suddenly we are going to feel a lot freer once we have made decisions, once we have moved forward, once we are being more true to ourselves and more sure about what it is we want, okay? You, it's, it's a really important time to experience different things, different situations, things that you may not have tried before be outrageous be adventurous be show your self expression show your your vitality the sun is all about vitality and freedom and joy and you're going to be expressing this greatly um, things are going to be going a lot better for you really well for you even when it's in reverse as I say, the sun is really important for you. Just you might have to put a little bit more effort in because it's in reverse. You might have to stay a little bit more focused on what you want. But no matter what, be really thankful for what you've got. Be grateful for what you've got. Stay mindful of the things that you want in your life. You're manifesting your dreams now. You're bringing your dreams into manifestation. So stay positive and stay happy. That is really, really important. Think about what you want. Make sure you know what you want and let it go. Give it up to the universe. Doesn't matter how you get there. That's not your job to think about. It's your job just to know what you want and then not worry about how it's gonna happen, how you're gonna get there, okay? Work-wise, if you're looking for a new job with the sun in reverse, it's right around the corner. Just stay focused. You are so close to getting one. Really, really focused. Um, if it's love, if it's relating to love for you, it can indicate that one or another partner or even both of them um, may be taking the relationship or the other part too much for granted this must be changed as soon as possible um, if any relationship is to last never take anybody for granted they could be gone at a moment's notice you never know um, nothing is set in stone um, it may be that you might just need a bit of alone time to make sure that you are on the right track that you are doing the right thing that you are in the right relationship if you've not already got made that decision earlier and got rid of who you needed to get rid of because we discussed this earlier this is another chance to to do that um, but overall keep a really positive attitude um, you will have really high self-esteem at this point lots of confidence and you are special and you are worth it don't accept any old lover that comes along if you're single uh, you deserve far far more than that you really do so patience be waiting for the right person don't take the first one who, who comes along um, not at all next card we've got is the the king of wands this is another good card and it's in the upright position as well um, sometimes it's it's usually associated with Sagittarius it signifies a wise, open, positive, adventurous, masculine energy. Well, hey! <laughs> and as with all the court cards, it can indicate a literal person who's in your life, most often with hair on the lighter side. 
it could also be another sign of a literal man literal it could even be a woman with uh, a masculine energy who has the traits of a Sagittarius um, if you don't know the traits of a Sagittarius just just have a look at them but whoever this person is they've got hair on the lighter side they've got light brown hair they've got blonde hair reddish hair they've got they're not dark they don't have dark and usually when the king appears you're likely to have a, a huge amount of energy outpouring from you and use it in a positive direction it could even be that you've got the traits of this masculine energy uh, that you um, are the king of wands in this situation in this time it's a very positive omen even if he doesn't represent a literal individual in your life he signifies men around you um, that are supportive that think well of you you're going to be feeling really ambitious and goal orientated at this time and you have a, a wish to accomplish everything um, so keep thinking positively all of this is thinking positively if it's in a work situation, um, it's either yourself wanting to learn more or it could be a literal man in your life who is wanting to serve as a mentor to you. Um, if this is the case, it's a man that you can trust, that you can count on. Um, his people skills can be a little bit rough around the edges. He can be a bit off sometimes. Learn what you can from him pay attention to the places where you wish to, to do it yourself differently uh, from the way he may do things you don't have to take everything literally from from him um, don't be don't be a yes person there's things that he's trying to mentor you on that you really don't agree with and so yeah hey I don't agree with that I like some of the things that you're saying I like some of the things that you're teaching me I like some of the, the ways that you do things but there are other particular things that I don't like so if it's all the same to you I'm going to stick with the things I do like I'm not going to pay attention to the things that I, I don't like I'm not going to do it that way I'm going to do it slightly different you don't have to do it exactly If some, this is if somebody comes in as a mentor for you um, really good in, in if you're looking for an employment um, he's a very significant man in your life if you're looking for employment if you're looking to work with somebody if it's in a love situation it's excellent absolutely it's it signifies that somebody you care about also has um, extreme protective and caring feelings about you and they're willing to work hard if necessary to make the relationship work it may be that um, you you yourself they're, they're willing to work on the relationship and you're more focused on work and career right now um, if that's the case please make the time for the romance they're trying really hard at this time um, to make it work you need to make it work too um, there is you don't want work to be the only thing in your life you want a good balance of, of absolutely everything in your life in abundance <laughs> moving on to the next card we have got the three of pentacles in reverse and we're now sort of moving on to April, May. Uh, this card here is probably around April. Three of Pentacles is um, around May time. And it also refers to things that you may need to know that will help you if you're stuck or feeling powerless or you've got any problems if you sort of know this it will help in other areas okay um, it's particularly a good card in working career questions but it carries a warning that you can't slack off at the moment it seems to be that work at this time is going to be quite a big focus now I've just spoken about work and said when you've got this guy in your life whether it's work or romance or whatever balance everything out um, but work is going to be quite important to you at this time don't settle for the simplest solution um, 
if you do that, you, you are likely not to find yourself with as much success. Look at every solution and then choose the best one. Not necessarily the simplest one. It may be that one of your solutions is a little bit harder, but work at it. This is the key to fixing everything within the, <laughs> oh bless, that was my husky, I think she's dreaming and I just can't move you. Oh no, she's not even at all, but I think she's dreaming. Um, if it's uh, a love situation, be careful of getting pregnant at this time. Its fertility can be a lot higher than usual. So please, if you don't want a baby, please take the precautions needed not to. And if you do want another baby, then absolutely go for it. <laughs> no doubt in my mind, just go for it because now would be a really really good time to catch on okay also um, be careful of being overly um, subservient or behaving as though you're less than anything um, subservient I mean being the yes person just just be aware of that don't be saying yes to everything um, you can you know obviously you need to give and take within a relationship um, and there'll be things that you can say yes to but n not everything there's a potential for love partners that you are meeting hold your head up high if you haven't met that special person yet in your life real potential now keep that confidence up keep the pride up okay and if we look at the last card, which is probably going into June now, we've got the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is about new beginnings, really positive new beginnings. It's a time when we have gone through a hell of a lot of changes the first six months. We've done everything that we need to do. We've got rid of the people in our lives that are not supposed to be in our lives. Uh, the people that don't have our best interests at heart, who don't have the same outlook on life that we have, who maybe are too stoic in their personalities, who don't want to change, who don't bend, who don't compromise. Um, this goes for work situations as well. We've we've gone through through it all now. We're through to we're through to June now. And we've got the Ace of Wands. It's all about being upbeat, upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future. Because you're feeling, you're still feeling really energetic and positive. Everything is going the way you want it to go at this time. Um, if there's anything new at this time you want to start, if you've not already started it, now's a good time. If you're looking at slightly broadening your horizons more, taking a slightly di different path in the work, expanding it's really good um, again if you're still single by June I don't think many of you many Libras will be single by June I really don't um, it will be the beginning of, of new love relationships heading your way if you're in a committed relationship that relationship is about to begin a new beginning a new level of deepness a new level of understanding uh, you'll rise to new levels um, and you'll you'll literally climb mountains together um, make sure you keep expressing yourself make sure you keep communicating with each other so right Libra first six months are looking pretty good a lot of changes but we can do it you can get through it um, what I'm going to do now is draw the last six cards for the last six months of the year going through from July to December and we'll see how we get on there. Hi Libra, okay we're into the final run, we're into the last six months of the year now and we've still got some major arcana cards to go and, and let's see what uh, what is coming for us. So um, August at the top we've got uh, strength reversed now it's the number eight, which is the strength, the positiveness, it's, it's the number of the year. 
when it's in reverse it doesn't indicate that we're not strong on the contrary it actually typically indicates that there's more strength in us than we may feel then um, and we have more strength in an immediate situation that you're likely to be seeing at that time if you're having trouble feeling where your strong points are um, get with a trusted friend make a list of your strong points at this time if you're having any doubts whatsoever when strength appears in reverse it's important that you have and make sure that you know what you're grateful for and make a point in the very near future to count your blessings everyone wishes for more than they can have they want more health they want more friends they want more money they want more desire more passion more love whatever it is more success they always seem to wish for, for more than they can have so try appreciating what you have in your life at this time um, because that is the key to bringing more into our life okay if it's a work situation make sure that you're crystal clear on what your talents and skills are don't be doubtful about them you must be very very clear what you're best at what gets you going it'll give you some insight into where your 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 pure, pure strength lies um, and once you are clear it's a good time to make sure that those around you know that um, if you're looking for a job and you haven't got a job yet make sure that the interviews you go for the people that are likely to hire you make sure you are very strong on your strengths make sure they know what your strengths are um, and if you're already in a job keep doing what you're doing but make sure your strengths are being shown um, and be aware of them um, take things one step at a time because Libras you're doing really really well when this card appears but there is no need for you to push too far too fast have patience um, as I say I'm, I'm one of them I know patience is not one of my strong points um, but there are times when we really do need to be patient okay uh, if it's a love situation it's it's the it's the, basically the same if it's in its upright meaning um, love should be going really really well for you at the moment if you're in a committed relationship it's a strong relationship it's mutually supportive it's wholesome it's beneficial for both of you um, it's a really good equal uh, relationship and you give just as much as you take if you're looking for somebody at this time it's a really better than average time to meet somebody as long as you're being self-confident so get out and mingle if you need to uh, to find somebody again have some patience though okay so if we move on to August um, in August we have got the eight of swords when the eight of swords appears it seems like you're holding yourself back because you might have some fears about moving into the future uh, it might be that you're wary of getting hurt by a new situation or you, it might be for no reason at all that you're feeling a little bit scared but think through what it is you're afraid of um, the truth of situations are probably much less frightening than they are your mind is making them out to be really uh, frightening apologies for the door closing I didn't close mine and my son's just got up um, in general the 8 again is an 8 um, and this year is the year of the 8 of strength um, it tells us that we've got to be open um, to defeat in order to ever possibly win sometimes we have to lose to win that makes sense to you we don't win every battle we don't want to win every battle we shouldn't be in in battles um, don't fear the unknown there is a lot of blessings there for you examine your thoughts how you speak your behavior make sure you're not being negative if you are being negative have a really good look at it and think why and sort it out 
and know that what you say and do gives you the choices to give you the best outcomes in your life and if you need help managing and dealing with any fears then please ask for help because the help will be there for you you hold the power to change a situation because you are strong and if in a work situation if there's something you're doing that you don't like change it you have the strength to do that if it's in love the eight of swords points to a need to reevaluate a relationship that you might be in at the moment you might be sticking with someone that's actually bad for you you might be figuring oh well it's better than nothing it's better than being all on your own if you're in a bad relationship you need to be on your own do not be in a bad relationship with anybody whoever you're with has to be honest trustworthy reliable wholesome and and equal to you and, and given as much as as they are taking and um, so rethink that if you're in but i don't there's not a lot of us going to be in that situation i think once we've got to this stage of the year we're going to be in the relationships that we want to be in uh, we're going to be with the partner that we want to be with they're going to be with the right partner okay um, and if you still happen to be looking for love at this time don't just settle for anybody at all so that is I can't remember where we're up to July August September okay September we are on to the three of swords reversed this is quite a difficult card it could be um, that we have some difficult or painful things to deal with this month um, it could be some lessons that we need to learn it could be people leaving our life it could be situations friends pets anything um, difficulties within our life at this time um, and you, we might be dealing with a little bit of pain a little bit of sorrow um, this is not going to last forever please be aware of that if this is happening it's not going to apply to everybody um, but it is going to apply to some of you Libras out there it, it, it's likely that you will have some sort of disappointment it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be major or it's going to be life shattering it, it might be just something that you hope for that might not come through as you would have preferred but allow yourself to feel any pain that comes through as a result and move on it really really isn't the end of the world for you and you will get over it okay October which is our birthday month um, some of you sort of end of, um, end of September um, we've got the nine of pentacles reversed it's really a good omen but it does warn that one must pay attention to be more disciplined and not to give in to too much pleasure and relaxation yay <laughs> we all like a bit of pleasure and relaxation but don't let uh, the grass grow under your feet don't rest on your laurels for too young, long I think it might be that we need a bit of a break at this time so although you've got really you've also got a lot to be proud of Libra and you've got a lot to be hopeful about um, but don't actually stop what you're doing you still need some action on your part so don't uh, don't stop Okay, um, moving on to our next book. Last card, we're into November, and we've got the King of Cups, um, which is a pretty good card, really. It generally symbolises that we've got some sort of offer. We've got a kindred spirit with us. Maybe it's our twin flame or our soulmate. Um, but we've got somebody who's on the same wavelength as us somebody's got our back somebody's being really supportive it usually speaks of a male who is is very balanced they've got male and female energy 
and he holds lots of positive qualities, both masculine and feminine. Often he indicates a literal man in your life. Um, and if he is representing a live person, he's referring to a very kind, very loving man. He will generally, generally have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. Um, so dirty blonde hair, reddish hair, light brown hair, that side as opposed to the, the darker. Also know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen um, when he's in your life. Really, really good card to have in November and it could be that he's already been in your life for a while but I think, I think he's been pointed out again to remember how special he is. He has a lot of kindness and compassion there's an element of pure true love in your life at this time whether this man's in your life or not you will still have the essence of this in your life um, so it could be um, a friend a relative whatever the situation is and also remember to nurture yourself as well allow others to nurture you allow others to look after you occasionally yeah, don't do everything yourself. Make sure that, that you're being looked after just as much as you're looking after others. Okay, he's a really, really good card. If it's in the context of work, it usually points to a male boss or a co-worker. He's really on your team. Don't hesitate to ask him for the support if you need it because he will be more than willing to give you that support. They really appreciate you and they respect you. Uh, more than you actually know uh, they may not always admit it um, but deep down they actually do really respect you and things are likely to be improving at work as well if the, the king appears if it's in uh, a love situation when the king appears news is really good for love there are a few cards within the tarot that are more loving than the King of Cups. If you're not attached to anybody, if you're looking for love, this can indicate somebody who is really balanced and loving and he's heading your way and he's going to be with you soon. Okay. It's not it's not infallible when it comes to an indication of physical characteristics, but in general, Cups people um, have this lighter hair colouring because he's a cup as well he is um, an emotional sign he's a water sign and usually the cups will refer to either um, a Scorpio a Cancer a Pisces He's going to be one of these signs now he's either already in your life extremely loving or it's telling you and reminding you that he's here and appreciate him um, because he's really got your back and there is so much love and respect there for you okay that is a wonderful card um, for November so I'm quite happy about this reading because I'm, I'm Libra too. Um, right, December, Knight of Pentacles. Um, it points to messages often with regard to money and finances. You're going to receive good news in December, uh, news that you've been waiting on about your finance. We're not going to win the lottery. You're not going to win the lottery or anything like that, but it's a really practical card. It means that money is good. Um, remember always... Um, always take care of the little things and the big things will look after you they'll look after themselves make sure that you're handling your finances your affairs in a grounded way um, and this suggests that if you're doing it in this way money is not going to be a problem uh, Christmas 2015 December 2015 um, it's not a time to start it's it's a time to stay traditional it's a time to work within the systems that you usually work in if it's a work situation accomplish what people expect you to accomplish um, don't go doing radical new things at this time but just stay within the system um, and in regard to love it points
points to um, responsibilities and duties which which are part of any love relationship it's not all wine and roses it's not little cute flowers around the, the cottage door it's it's not like that true love true unconditional love is a willingness to work together and get through the rough spots and work on the relationship um, make sure you're meeting your responsibilities around this time just make sure you're giving just as much as you are taking um, don't be concentrating on work or anything like that um, overly make sure that everything is in balance and if you're looking for love try new things um, if you want to meet somebody go somewhere different go online um, and that would be a good time or a good place um, I get the feeling that some of the places some of you go to are less than to be desired and you probably won't want to meet anybody there anyway so try somewhere different so that's your 2015 reading Libra I hope you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe if you would like a private reading from me it's uh, 35 pounds for about 40 minutes you can get much more personal insight into the year for you um, you can contact me at martingale123 at hotmail.co.uk and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Look out for my monthly readings, my weekly readings and sometimes daily readings as well if I get time. Okay, thank you very much for watching and have an amazingly wonderful year. Okay.